Hi, it's Pleasance with Little Ohm Yoga, and I'm here with beloved uh, flow teacher, Jen Dreyer. I'm so excited to be interviewing her today in our little yoga series. So, Jen, tell me a little bit about um, how you started practicing yoga, where mm -hmm. you started, why you started, everything like that. Okay. Um, well, I was living in New York City at the time, um, teaching. I just started teaching. It was my first year teaching. 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 Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> teaching uh, middle school students, which would drive anyone to, like, you know, mm -hmm. extreme measures. My Thankfully, my extreme measure was finding yoga, so that was mm -hmm. really lucky. Um, and just found it at my gym and just decided to try Crunch Fitness in New York City on the Upper West Side. And found a teacher I really liked. Ended up going a bunch. Um changed gyms, ended up going to another gym, and I just ended up realizing that that all I was doing at the gym was going to yoga classes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized I should just go to a yoga studio. Um, and uh, and actually, and, and so from there, I really went to yoga. I found that it kind of made me feel so much more balanced in my crazy work life, and um, it was really helpful for me just getting, getting everything kind of just feeling calm and... Um, being able to get through everything mm -hmm. without completely melting down all the time, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, as middle school students will do to you. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and then from there, I started practicing at a couple studios in New York, Yoga Works, and a few other ones. Um, and uh, and then from there, kind of decided finally after ten years of practicing that it was time to yeah. What made the transition between being a student and being mm -hmm. and wanting to do a teacher training? Um, so I've been practicing for about 10 years, and I had a couple of, I had one friend who I really loved who was uh, teaching at Yoga Works at the time. I took her classes at Yoga Works. Her name was Twee Merrigan, um, and she is a um, one of Shiva Ray's um, assistants and protégés and mm -hmm. does lots of uh, prana flow trainings all over, and, and she encouraged me to, you know, to take it to the next level, and I said, you know, that kind of makes sense. I kind of mm -hmm. feel like... I'm a teacher anyway, mm -hmm. and that feels really natural to me to teach people. I like to help people. Um, yeah, I think I'd want to do it. And so I, cool. I did the training um, in the summer of 2006. How did, did you pick where you wanted to do your that training? That was really hard, mm -hmm. really hard, because I've been practicing at a few different studios. I, I consulted Twi a lot because mm -hmm. um, I wanted to get some. I mean, I couldn't do I actually looked into the prana flow training, but it was, it was too complicated. It was in these modules, and it was all in California, yeah. and I just couldn't, couldn't make it work. Um, so she was, so I was looking at some of the intensives and, um, yoga works. I was deciding between yoga works and, mm -hmm. and this one called Sonic Yoga. Mm -hmm. Um, and I ended up with Sonic Yoga because they, the teachers, there was a really nice balance. The main teacher, Lauren was, um, she is a prana, also a prana mm -hmm. flogi. She's also one of Shiva's assistants, but she was trained by Dharma Mitra and has, you know, so much mm -hmm. huge extensive experience. And, her partner at the time, Jonathan Fields, mm -hmm. who's, you know, like amazing. <laughs> um, um, little did I know at the time, he was that amazing because um, he hadn't started his blog. We'll, or any we'll of that post stuff. this on your page, Jonathan. So you can see <laughs> He's like, God, if anyone doesn't know that yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we love Jonathan, but he was really great and he had a very different um, approach. She had the really deep um, experience in the Eastern side of yoga yeah. and he kind of came at it kind of. You know, as, he did everything, but he also had um, kind of more of an anatomy focus, and so he did all of our anatomy stuff um, training, and it was uh, it was just really a great balance. It ended up being a fantastic program, um, and then I ended up I was still teaching at the time, mm -hmm. um, and ended up uh, doing some work on the side, just kind of teach. So I, I was an assistant to Lauren for a while, which was mm -hmm. really amazing to assist such a fantastic teacher. And she would like show me all these cool adjustments and oh, cool. getting to really be in that class of, you know, and they were really packed classes, New York City mm -hmm. style, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but really cool. Um, it's just to be in there and to be helping and watching and absorbing. She had an amazing energy. So that was really fun. And started teaching community classes there after that. Cool. And then took over... 7 a.m. class. Mm -hmm. but I have to do that when to, you start yeah, teaching. Yeah, <laughs> work to squeeze in. But I was working full time anyway, yeah. so sort yeah. of all I could really do. Um, <laughs> and then picked up a few privates, and so I ended up kind of teaching lots of things on the side. I taught also in the school that I was a literacy coach at at the mm -hmm. time, in middle school. Um, some of the teachers had said, oh, I should do a, you know, a, a class for staff. So cool. ended up teaching a class after school for staff, um, which was great. 
some of them had never practiced at all before. And I was going to mm-hmm. really just like sort of bring people into the world of yoga. And then moved to DC and then, you know, sort of mm-hmm. wended my way here once I um, had a baby. And, <laughs> and, and another I found, baby. yeah, <laughs> Lauren actually. So Lauren at um, from Sonic Yoga sent me to find Jess Lazar mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Rob Hess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's yep. like, these are your prana people. Yeah. These are your prana flow people here in, in DC. DC. So I um, was practicing a lot at flow. Yeah. And then when I had um, my first son, Zach, I uh, would take the baby and me class a lot there and mm-hmm. then ended up taking over that baby and me class, teaching mm-hmm. it, and then started teaching prenatal there. And then sort of in the mix of all that, met, met you, Pleasance, mm-hmm. and um, through a mutual friend and then mm-hmm. ended up coming to Lil Owen since its beginning. And, and she's so, now pregnant with her third. Yes. I can't believe it. It's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, how has your yoga practice helped your life, added value to your life? Like, wh- how do you see it as part of your life now? Um, you know, I feel like since I sort of started getting into yoga with any level of seriousness or regularity, it's felt like an anchor, like mm-hmm. that I, I just, when I don't, if I go away or I don't have access to practice or if I'm sick or something, mm-hmm. it just, I, I feel like that V8 commercial when you're like walking crooked, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel out of balance really. And quite literally. Um, so I think it, it gives me so much balance in my world and balance mm-hmm. in my life and sort of allows me to step away from you know, the monkey mind the mm-hmm. zzz, that's going on in your brain all the time um, to kind of get back to, just centering myself and mm-hmm. so it always feels really grounding for me more than anything else I think it just grounds me in addition of challenges me physically and mm-hmm. pushes me to you know lengthen and strengthen and do things you know that, that also make me feel good physically mm-hmm. um but it's that you know breathing and just reminding me of all those things that I need to do in my daily life that mm-hmm. I think were I not to have had yoga in my life um I wouldn't, I just like can't imagine what my life would be like without yoga. I really can't. Like I'm very like, tense. I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, when my, so my, it's helped me a ton. I mean, even my dad passed away in 2004 and it was a long time ago. Um, but even, you know, just, it just gave me so much grounding and mm-hmm. kind of brought me to the right kinds of books to read and mm-hmm. um, things like that. So it's um, kind of helped shift my whole perspective on mm-hmm. you know, everything. Um, what does your practice look like now, and how has it changed over the years, oh, or quite, has it changed? Quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, with two kids, <laughs> it's challenging to have um, a really regular. I had such a strong practice when I was in New York. I was, yeah. you know, probably practicing four or five times a week. Yeah. Um, always challenging for me to have a strong home practice. That's not, unfortunately, where I, um, I still kind of struggle with that. Mm-hmm. Um, do things here and there but I love taking classes that's really mm-hmm. kind of I think I think it's because of who I am I'm kind of extroverted and by nature I like being around other people it kind of gives me energy um and feeds me so I think that's probably why I like being in classes um I practice when I can um mm-hmm. and even you know I feel like I get so much out of my practice from teaching too and it's yeah. not the same yeah. thing at all but um but it's all those things that like reminds me to be centered or reminds me to breathe. It reminds mm-hmm. me about, you know, all the things I'm grateful for in my physical body, things in my life I'm grateful for. Um, reminds me of how to carry myself as I move through the world. Mm-hmm. Um, things like that. And I think, you know, one of the things that yoga has for sure helped me with, the, like, most recently in, in just raising children, you know, it's so... Mm-hmm. Easy, and I, I won't say that I'm like 100% <laughs> all the time because I can lose it at times. Yep. Um, we all do. We all do. Um, but it's just that great reminder. I'm like, okay, okay, be yogic, be yogic, mm-hmm. breathe, breathe, breathe. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it's just that breathe, like that mantra kind of helps bring me back um, to remembering, you know, that, that I need to be steady. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Jen. Um, You can come to Jen's classes. She teaches yoga flow classes um, here at Little Om. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.